Hey, it's Alicia, and today I have a pretty simple, very effective fascia release technique for your forearm extensors. We're gonna use a tennis ball, and I'm going to be demoing this on a kitchen counter, uh, but actually a wall is probably better because I have this tiny little counter space here where we're gonna be navigating, and I could slip, right? Uh, but visually, this is the best position for me to be able to show you what you're actually going for when you're against the wall. Uh, we tried filming this against the wall and it just didn't show you what you would want to do at home. Um, so you'll probably want to do this against a wall. And as usual, I like to talk about reasons to do this technique uh, for yourself, other than, of course, taking care of your fascia, taking care of your body, making sure you're healthy and fluid and optimized, right? Uh, but specific pain issues that this can help with are going to be things, it's actually a long list here. Um, it's going to be things like carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, maybe numbness and tingling in your hands, uh, elbow pain, so we've got tennis elbow, golfer's elbow maybe, but definitely tennis elbow. Uh, I've actually worked with clients in my private practice who had range of motion issues in their neck. We released their extensors, just like I'm about to show you. Um, I mean, me stepping on them, but this is actually pretty effective. Uh, and their range of motion in their head gets better, their neck. So this one area can affect your hands, your wrist, you know, your arm, your elbow, your shoulder, and your neck. So what you're aiming for here, um, I wanted to show you a couple things before demoing the technique. These extensors, so these are your extensors here. These are your flexors, uh, forearm flexors, forearm extensors. And these extensors can get pulled towards your flexors and then kind of glued over there. Um, and so what we want to do is actually get the extensors back where they're supposed to be, not glued to those flexors. That way these muscles are fluid, they can do their job, they're in their right position in your body structurally. Um, so you might notice, you know, like this is kind of the, you know, popping up those extensors. And this is where they start to get a little glued to uh, the flexors. So you could use your other hand, and you're gonna see me doing this, to add some resistance to like train those extensors to be back where they're supposed to be, towards the elbow. Um, but I wanna show you a couple other things too. This line that's closer to your flexors is gonna to lead to your thumb and your kind of forefinger here. Um, the closer we get to your elbow and this, uh, you know, the outside of your arm, uh, it's going to maybe affect the elbow, the pinky, the ring finger. Uh, so these are the areas you're going to explore, but the basic movement is going to be the same regardless. And it's super simple. So I'm going to use the counter here. And if I were to go after these flexors, flexor extensor junction, I should say, uh, where the extensors meet them, uh, meet the flexors, that's where I'm going. And all I'm doing is rotating my arm. So I'm rotating back and forth from my elbow, kind of rotating my thumb. You could think about it, rotating just my hand, my arm, back and forth. And I definitely have to use this right hand to hold the ball in place. And if you're going after those extensors where they meet the flexors and you're trying to get them back where they're supposed to be, you kind of want to keep the ball um, adding some resistance towards uh, your elbow as you do this. And then the other option would be coming a little bit more from the back side of the forearm. And you're going to find, perhaps, like me, <laughs> some ropey bits out there. Um, and so this movement isn't as big, but it, it's the exact same movement. We're just rotating, and I'm kind of working exclusively right now on that outside part of those extensors. Um, and then you're gonna wanna check out your whole arm, but it's the exact same movement regardless. So you can see how this is not, <laughs> it's hard to, you know, I have to um, lift up or shrink down to be able to use this. This is why a wall is better. Um, but you'll want to just lean yourself, your body into your arm to kind of also hold that ball in position 
it's kind of the, the weight that you're adding to this to make it maybe more intense. So you could back off and make it less intense. Um, but you'll explore from your elbow to your wrist doing the same thing. So you'll explore this line and maybe that line and maybe in the middle. Um, your body is going to be different from me. So you might find things in your forearm extensors that looks different than mine, but it's just going to be that rotation, finding the adhesions, um, compressing and shearing them to pull them apart, bring more blood in, flush that waste out, bring f uh, fresh water in, cellular hydration, get your body producing its own collagen and hyaluronic acid, uh, the things you need to self-repair. Um, and then I always encourage just moving afterwards, I kind of like shaking my, my arms out sometimes or just moving my arms if that's what I've been working on. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is your extensor fascia release for the forearms. I would love to hear of your uh, results or what you notice or feel after trying this in the comment section below if you want to share that. Uh, your stories help inspire other people to give this a try to work on their bodies, get to know what works for them. Um, and they're gonna experience a result too. So I hope you share uh, your results in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, I would also appreciate a thumbs up. Um, and if you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos. And if fascia release is new to you and you're new to me and my way of doing it, which really prioritizes this compression and shearing effect versus just kind of foam rolling or rolling around on balls, um, then you can grab my beginner's guide to fascia release, which I'll link to in the description below this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.